Yo, what's going on, everybody? It is 1 p.m. here in Crystal Lake, Illinois. That means it's time for another live stream. Today is Friday, 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 May 19th, 2023. We have made it to the weekend, or pretty much to the weekend. I know there's a couple hours of work left for a lot of you guys, but we're pretty much there. And uh, sun is shining. Weather's getting nice. So I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I feel like uh, it's been a tough week, a busy week. But you know what, guys? We made it. Everyone listening on the audio-only ver version of the podcast, welcome to you guys. Hopefully, you're having a good run. This morning here in Crystal Lake, it was raining pretty hard, and I was ready. I got the water camo out, the jacket and the pants and the hat, and I was going to go run through the trails with the water camo on. But by the time I walked my daughter to the bus stop, got back home, it started getting sunny, started getting hot and humid. So I switched it up. So I went with something else. Hopefully, you are uh, not having to run through wet, muddy, rainy conditions as you're listening to this. And for everyone watching this on YouTube later, but not live, welcome to you guys as well. This is the number one podcast to listen to while you're wondering what's in that box. And today we have another package. We have a package from CLA. CLA, let me tell you what, guys. CLA has been making some fantastic apparel. They're the company that both of you, most of you guys know as like uh, the hat company. And for a long time, that's all they made. Um, but they've been making some apparel lately and it's been so good. Um, I don't know what's going in here. Um, if it's going to be apparel or hats. Not that hats aren't apparel, but you know what I mean. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. We'll get to that box in just a second. But sorry, I'm just taking off some labels so I don't accidentally show that on TV. Um, but yeah, so let's get to it. Just a minute, though. Hmm. Do we have any running? Let's see who we got in the chat here. I think we might have some running questions. But let's see who we got in the chat. April Fletcher is here, says, happy Friday, everyone. Starting to feel a little better after being down with COVID this week. Well, I'm glad that you are feeling better. And I do feel like it's weird because it's like, uh, I know we all want to be done with it. And like the national emergency has been declared as being over or has been undeclared, however you want to put that. But I've been hearing about a lot of people who have had it lately. Um, who was it? It was one of the on athletes was supposed to pace the 5k in la or something like that and she had COVID, so she couldn't go at the last minute and then i saw someone else on instagram ran a 50 miler apparently they had COVID while they were running a 50 mile race um and they didn't realize it until later um and april now i'm hearing about you so it's just like this is the most COVID cases that i've heard of not that a professional on athlete is in my circle but like in you know the things that i'm seeing this is the most that i've seen in like a long time so i hope that's just a weird coincidence and april i'm glad you're feeling better um all right calvin says yo what's going on i picked up the saucony sinister for 75 dollars on running warehouse with the sale today it will be my uh short distance and track workout shoe of choice is that the one that's uh power run pb and no plate i haven't seen that one i keep i keep thinking about it I keep wondering. I'm not sure. You'll have to let us know, Calvin, what you think about it. Shackad says, yo, 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 happy Friday. And Sean Devlin says, hi, everyone. Ran eight at a nice clip this morning. Nice. Looking forward to a longest run tomorrow. I think that's, I mean, you and I are on the same schedule here, Sean. I, I ran eight today. I would have liked to have run more, but my wife told me two things, two things happened, a confluence of events that made me have to do a shorter run today one we we're out of coffee beans and so i wanted to buy more coffee beans and my um we just found out that this coffee place that i keep passing and i've been mentioned like hey i want to go there um apparently one of my daughter's friends her grandpa owns the place and so we're like all right well we'll go buy some beans from him um so we did that and and my wife also said her schedule call wise was pretty light today so she could get it so we went out and uh, my wife and I had a cup of coffee together. I had a Nutella croissant. She had a gluten-free blueberry muffin. And we had some lattes. And then I got a bag of beans, too. I got The ones that I got were from uh, Honduras. Honduras, I think that's where we got them from. Um, but they roast them on premise. So I thought that was pretty cool. And they're um, fair trade coffees. And I tend to, I like Latin American coffees. Um, so I was like, 
which one of these that's the only way i pick because there's so many options but i always know that latin american coffees are ones that i'm gonna like generally so it's like a safer bet so we went that did that and we came back but because we did that i didn't have enough i didn't have time to run as much as i wanted to so i ended it at pretty much exactly eight and then tomorrow tomorrow i'm gonna try to get a longer run in we're gonna be back in iowa we got more graduations to go to but longer run tomorrow be getting up early getting out there uh matt byer says easy 6.5 this morning time to finally retire the endorphin speed ones after 416 miles that's a lot of miles that was a good shoe i, I like that one a lot all right um matai says i just came around to coffee in my late 30s it's good what why why in your late what what did you do for the, like from like college to like to your early 30s you were just not you're just not using coffee i'm having a hard time believing that amazing um hmm mean green meme machine <laughs> says high fives from germany everybody hill rips today long run on saturday cool runnings nice i like that. that's a good emoji use we got a high five we got the sweaty emoji and like the hang loose is that what that is so um uh, yeah and uh leona says you know i just i saw your pick on strava from today's run it looked like a very warm day it's not that hot but it's super humid because it rained all morning so it's just like gross outside I, it was an easy that thing the thing is it was an easy run but you know you get sweaty even on an easy run and yeah but it was good it was good to get out there i would i wouldn't have mind getting another two or three miles but it was worth the cup of coffee was worth it you know what i'm saying so it was, it was good it was nice um all right you know what we got a running question so let's do some running q a <laughs> did that did that work for you guys i kind of like that I kind of like that. All right. So here's one. And if you got another one, put them down in the chat. We'll do a, a segment on running questions. Uh, no, that's not it from Kyle. Uh, where did it go? Oh, yeah. Tails Emileto says, hey, Cohen fam, I've been running on the Novelast 3 for more than 300 plus miles now, but I noticed that they are more unstable. Have you experienced something similar? And then uh, disguise emoji. Um... You know, I I did not run in my Nova Blast 3 for 100 for 300 miles. I ran in them to 150. So I didn't have what you're experiencing. But I'm guessing what's happening is that the shoe has just started to to die on you. You know, so it might be time to look for a new one. Um, not necessarily another Nova Blast 3, although that would be a pretty nice follow up choice. But at, for me, like at the around the 300 mile point is when I would start to look to retire a shoe. Yeah, I could probably squeeze a couple more miles out of it, but just in case, you know, I'm ready to move on to something new. Um, all right. Any more any more running questions? Mm. Let's see. Uh, let's do this one though before we get to the package. Sleeve Singer says, I want to thank you again for the combo with Jakey yesterday. It was awesome. The ethnic comparison piece you two had was enlighten enlightening. And now I know you're Korean. All right. Well, thanks. Thanks so much. I, I really enjoyed it. I told my wife about it. That was a really good conversation. I had a good time um, with it, you know? So uh, that was a good one. I really, I really enjoyed that one. So uh, I'm glad you guys liked it too. Um, Srini Vayapuri says, Hey, I'm running the Bayshore Half Marathon in Traverse City, Michigan next Saturday. Oh, is that the one? Is there a marathon too? I think Allie Feller is going to that one. I think there's going to be... At the if that's the one that I'm thinking of, Emma Bates is going to be there. I think they're doing like a live show or something. I think that's it. It just says next Saturday. And the weather, 60 degree Fahrenheit, seems a little bit more than much than expected. Do we need to slow down the pace initially? I'd say for I mean it depends. For me, 60 degrees is a little bit on the warm side for racing. Um, but uh, for a half marathon, I think that you'll be fine. Um, I would say if you're concerned about it you know, um, watch like your temperature in the, like the two hours before the race so that you're not like sweating too much while you're not like ready to be sweating. You know what I mean? Um, so stay cool, um, do what you can there and then stay topped up on fluids. Um, so that way that's not going to be a problem for you. Uh, a couple of tricks to stay warm. Uh, or stay, stay cool when it's warm out though. And at 60 degrees, I'm not sure that you really need to worry about it too much unless it's very humid as well. 
Um, but like, uh, what I like to do during a race is pour water down the back of my neck. I know a lot of times you want to pour it on your head and stuff, but usually I'm wearing a hat. So for me, I just pour it down my neck and it runs down the back. I usually like to do it that way. Um, and then also like if you can get, I mean, and by when I do that, you, you end up getting your hands wet, but getting your hands wet, a lot of heat dissipates through your hands too. So that could be another way to try and stay cool, but I don't think it should really affect too much not for a half marathon for a marathon i might adjust a little bit um but you know hopefully you've been doing some practice at running at half marathon effort and so focus on what the effort should feel like rather than what the watch says is another thing i would say all right mm. oh auto vv says i just heard kira damato's check-ins on the drop today i also listened to that today uh, when are we going to get Michael Coast check-ins on the drop? Stay tuned. So that's coming. Um, all right. Brandon Denny says, Hi, Kofuzi. Huge fan. Just started tri training, and your channel has been a huge inspiration. I'm running in Mach 4s now. Do you recommend Speed Shoe or Max Cushion next? Um, I would say probably for you, since you're tri training, I would go with a Speed Shoe. Because I'm guessing like for a day that you would use a max cushion shoe, like a recovery day, you could probably be on the bike um, or you might be in the pool or both, right? So those would be like zero impact days that would give your feet a little bit of a break, whereas a runner um, doesn't get that break normally. And that's where max cushion shoes really come in the most handy. So I would say probably a speed shoe because you're probably re also probably doing a higher percentage of session work versus just easy running compared to like a just a normal like half marathon or marathon person um so like that's going to be more useful for you so that's where i would put that all right and that's the running q a portion of the of the program for today did that work for you guys i don't know i don't know how to i don't know how to dismount i know how to get in there we got we got the sound but we do we need another sound for the box now, should we get to the box? What if, what if we do this one? That doesn't work. I only got four buttons. I got cowbell. I got the PB's Playhouse sound. Um, I got applause, which I like. But should we get to the box? All right, now it's time to unbox a package. That doesn't feel right. I don't know. And then I got the rim shot. So I, maybe, maybe I just need to get a different soundboard. Something with more um, buttons on it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. All right. This is a box from CLA. I don't know why it's like this. It just, I, did, I didn't do this. I promise that it came to me like this. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure that whatever's inside will probably still be fine. But, uh, all right. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm also guessing that they didn't put all this tape on here, but then when it got smushed, it probably needed tape. I don't know. but it feels like I have to do a lot of cutting open. All right. Variety of colors in here, but we're starting off. Pro oh, what, what, what's this? What is this? A message in a bottle. <laughs> All right. This is the lost. I'm, I'm reading the paper. The lost and found collection. A CLA athletics and run amok joint adventure a capsule born of misadventure and good things found when not in search of them we hope you enjoy please tag cla athletics and roar k run amok i don't know i never know how to say that i've seen it a bunch of times but roar k and run amok this is fun i like this message in a bottle all right i thought that that looked familiar like the other logo in the back but I couldn't place it. First, we got a hat. I'm liking the colors. Palm tree skeletons. I like it. And then we got a little logo in the back. We got the collab logo on the side. And then look at this little fun surprise. Boom. I like that. It's like river rocks, if you ask me. Nice. I'm fine with that. <laughs> Eric Farron says, Yar. 
Uh, <laughs> uh, awesome. That's so funny. Uh, all right. Sean says, for the sound effect, maybe we need a clip of Formula One race engineer saying, box, box. Well, you know, here's the, the, the first thing that came to mind was the clip from the movie Seven. What's in the box? But that's kind of like gross. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, all right, let's see what else we got next. We got a, a couple more things in here. Um, I got to tell you what, I love this color, even though it's not black, but these are two-in-ones. We got like the the running skeleton palm tree. Is that the, what the, that's what these are, right? Palm trees? They're skeleton palms. Um, it's kind of like in a ripstop pattern but it's not ripstop is it ripstop maybe it is type of material but it's a two-in-one and you got a long liner here with the uh i'm going to call them river rocks either that or they're yoshi eggs not sure which one it's going to be um let's see pockets let's check out the pocket situation we got a zipper a, an incognito zipper pocket on the side which is good for like car keys hotel keys and then you got um oh do you hear that? It's a magnet. Magnetic clasp side, like regular pockets. Oh, and there's another zipper pocket on this side too. So that's nice. And then, hold on. Oh, the liners have drop-in pockets as well. So right here, drop your phone in there, which I love for two-in-ones, because otherwise you can't put the phone in this. It gets too heavy. So I've, I've already decided that the two-in-ones is going to be my summer uniform for this year. I've been loving them. I also, you know, you guys know, I go to the gym now. So uh, I, like them at, I like them at the gym because they're a little bit longer. But these are sweet. I really like these. And I like this, like, I don't know what color this is. What are we going to call this color, guys? Sea green? I don't know. And then I don't know what's going on in the back here. It looks like there's vents. I think it's just vented in the back. Speed holes so you can run faster. But those look nice. Martha wants to know if they make shorts like that for women. Do they make two in ones for women? I don't know. <clears throat> Man, Luna says that's a first magnetic closures. I don't think I've ever seen those in running apparel before. I like it. Eric says, pretty cool colors. Just not a huge fan of the longer under layer that always shows, but cool that it matches. You know, I feel like, Eric, it's a throwback. Do you guys remember? I don't know. I think a lot of you guys are, are like around my age where like, bat, like dude, we called them bike shorts, like the, the spandex shorts. They never had pockets. And you were like, who are those weirdos? Only weirdos that ride bikes wear them without shorts on top. But that was always a look. You wore the long tights. They weren't long. They were half tights. And then you wore like your basketball or your soccer shorts on top of them. That was like the look for me in high school. So not for me, but for everybody. Everybody did that. I think. Anyway. But that that's that's what it kind of reminds me of. Uh, Melvin says, Heiko fam running Fargo 26.2 tomorrow morning. Hoping for a big breakthrough. Shout out to all the Winnipeggers and other Canadians that have ventured down for the weekend. Nice. And he says, don't forget, CLA is Canadian. Do you think do you consider them Canadian or do you consider them French Canadian? Is there a difference? I mean, I know there's a difference, but like, you know, do people be like, no, that's not Canadian. That's French Canadian. Is there something like that? Or is it like, it's all under the one ma big maple leaf? <laughs> Stephen C says, my best friend is one of those weirdos that ride bikes. <laughs> and JC says, good luck in Fargo moment. Yeah, good luck. I didn't know that there was a marathon in Fargo. You'll have to let me know how that is. And Vanessa says, they do make these kinds of shirts for women. You can find them at Old Navy, REI, Athleta. Was that Gap that does Athleta? And Nike. Oh, I didn't know that. Davin says... My friend has kids in high school and say the cool thing is to have your underwear longer than your shorts. 
I don't know about that. I think they're I think they're teasing you. Mm, oh, PG wants to know what's the pink drink. It's noon. Uh, I think it's fruit punch. Remember, I, I opened it on the live stream the other day. I got it from the place that, you know, um, I have to reach out to them, see if maybe we can get an affiliate link or something. But I got it from that place, you know. Um, it's I bought like four four tubes of it. There's no uh, there's no um, Whole Foods anywhere nearby um, in Crystal Lake, which is a big surprise. Um, so like that's where I used to just pick up like a tube or two of noon. Now they do sell it. There's another grocery store around here that's kind of like an old school Whole Foods, and they sometimes have it, but it's never flavors that I want. Mm. Oh, here's another shoe question. Jayus Royo says, just watched the Solomon video before this. What's your favorite trail uh, for ones, the trails that are around me? Shoe. Um, so for trails that I feel like that the majority of people who run trails have access to run on the majority of the time, uh, I, or what I will call normal people trails, um, I'm, really like, I'm really liking the Max Glide. Glide Max. I can't ever remember which way it is. There are so many outtakes for me making that Solomon video where I say, and that's why I really like this Glide Max or Max Glide. Which one is it? And I have to stop and like look at the shoe because it's written on the shoe to figure out which one it is because I can't keep it straight. I do really like that one quite a bit. Um, I'm also liking the Brooks Catamount quite a bit as well. Those are two that I've been enjoying a lot lately. Uh, the more trail three is also really good too. It's just a lot of shoe sometimes. So yeah. Um, all right. Melvin's giving us clarification on the Canadians versus French Canadians. It's just one big maple leaf. He says, I'm an Anglophone. I eat English Montrealer, an Anglophone Montrealer. I think they call it a Montrealer Anglais. Melvin, just kidding. Anyway, he's an Anglophone Montrealer and CLA is a Montreal company. I think I could say with his comp confidence, there is no Franco-Anglo divide when we speak CLA. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's that's very Canadian of you guys. All right, one last thing in the, in the box. It's crinkly, but that's just the paper. This is nice. This feels really nice. Um, it's the Run Amok by Rourke. Uh, shirt, but it's got, I, I keep wanting to call them pineapple dudes, but they're pine trees, the pine tree skeletons. And then it wraps around along the rib cage to have the CLA Rourke, the Amok, um, collab logo. Let's see, and just, it's a very soft material. I got a nice little patch in the lower left and the CLA part here. It's like rubbery or like plastic. On Let's get some focus, focus. It won't focus today. So it's right there. That part is like raised and kind of not what's the opposite of embossed, but it's nice. Very, very soft material. I'm digging it. I'm really liking it. Cool. I feel like though, I like the design, but this would be a lot to wear at once, right? Don't you think? If I were to wear this hat with this on it and then these shorts with this on it, like the river rocks, is that too much? But it, Or is it far away enough that it's okay? I think it's far enough that it's okay. I could do it. But that's what we got from Sally. Thanks, guys, for sending that. I'll, uh, I think I'll be testing it out this weekend. I think I'll be doing some trail running. Probably run over a new wine over the weekend. Maybe on Sunday. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, and Mar yeah, you guys are right. Uh, Martha says, the, the Solomon video is captioned salmon. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a couple of typos in there. I fixed them right before I came on the live stream. And uh, I think you can blame, all I can blame autocorrect for the salmon thing, but I spelled glide as guild with an E at the end. I, I don't know, like gilded. I don't know. So it was just a big mess up. 
That video is not doing very well, by the way. Maybe it's because it's like Friday in the summer and people aren't watching it, but I did have a conversation with Ryan about like trail running shoes don't get that many views on YouTube. Maybe it's like, maybe not like they used to, or maybe this is just like, you know, maybe this is not Sol Solomon's most popular trail shoe. Although it's my favorite, it may be my favorite Solomon shoe because it's the least like a Solomon. I don't know. Or maybe like Solomon has like a big, their audience is European and they're already, you know, for them, it's already weekend. It's already low weekend time. So they're not watching YouTube videos. So I don't know. But, uh, you know, the video is not doing it. I think it's doing fine, but they don't do as well as road shoe videos for me because I'm a roads guy, which makes sense. But yeah, I was telling Ryan, like, that's why I like to bring in friends because then at least I'm having more fun making them, <laughs> you know? So that was good. But it was good to talk to Ryan a little bit. Um, all right. Scott says, though, but I have been waiting on that review and shoot, and I very much appreciate it. Well, thanks, Scott. Cheers to you. Mm. Uh, Leona says, I saw a Rourke brick and mortar store in San Francisco. I've seen their stuff at Sports Basement as well. Oh, really? I've never seen it in person before. And am I saying it correctly? Does anyone know? Can we get confirmation? Is it Rourke? I could never figure out. Is it like Rourke? I could never figure out what it was. And then, yeah, I got to dig into that a little bit. Frank says, <laughs> I could just blame Ryan on the poor performance. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. It's definitely not, it's definitely not uh, Ryan's fault. Mm. Uh, Josiah K says I thought debossed was a made up word apparently it's a real world is it yeah I didn't know that there was an M I know embossed I didn't know there was a debossed but I don't know The sleeve singer says, "You yeah, gotta wear it all, and then put the Saucony River with the three rock symbol on it too." Well, maybe I'll wear it with some Saucony shoes, um, and then go to the Saucony River. It's not the Saucony River, right? It's another. The it's river is called something else, right? We'll go to that river and then run in it. That would make sense. Mason Hall says, "I, I asked if." Wearing all the CLA Rourke apparel would be too much. And he says, there is no too much for running a tire. I I will have to say like, for the most part, I agree with you. But when I wore all the Say Sky Blue camo at the same time, it felt like a lot. <laughs> it's one of my favorite outfits. I'm so glad that they made it. Um, I kind of wish that they would have also, there's like a, a t-shirt and a half tight. Like I kind of thinking I need to just go out and buy the rest of the set to have everything. Um, cause I just think it's amazing. I was really disappointed that it got too hot to wear all of it again today, you know? So, yeah, I, I mean, I wore, I wore the jacket to drop off the baby to at the bus stop for school. And it was night. I was like, this is going to be night. I was like, uh, by the time I walked back home, I was like, it's getting a little warm. I don't know if I could do this. So, yeah. Wait, Calvin says emboss has to have the material stick out. Deboss have it indented. I thought embossed was to have it in, like, like when you press the letters in. Oh, I don't know. Now I'm all confused. All right, Matthias giving us some, uh, context on the coffee question he said he had never gotten into coffee until his mid in late 30s he said and he says to answer the question i was a recreation management major no need for coffee in college okay what does recreation management major mean what do you what do you study i've never heard of that before i need to know more Stevie 76 says the rock band name should be called Kofuzi and the D boss. I think then the problem would be then people would call it um, 
they would re- mispronounce all the words and it would be Kofusi and the Debos. <laughs> uh. Interesting, interesting. All right. Um, TV76 says, dude, you got debossed. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, Leona wants to know, will ASICs be doing another van tour across America? Not this year. Um, last year they did it um, as a way to uh, get people excited for world championships because ASICs is a world athletics sponsor. And uh, so they got to have ASICs logos everywhere during the world championships, even though it's at Hayward Field, which is a Nike church, basically. Um and uh, I've talked to them about the van. Like, what happens to it? Like, are you guys just going to, like, decommission it and sell it or what? Um, but their, all their retail partners love the van, and they want the van to come, you know, to their stores and stuff. So I feel like I, I'm not sure who's in charge of it. But I keep, I mean, the van was in Boston. Leon, I think you saw it there. Um, the van is, like, just shows up at places. Um so like I don't know where it lives. I don't know if it like stays in Boston somewhere like for the rest of the year, but I'll I'll follow up. I'll get some more detail on like where it lives on a regular basis. But it's around. Um I think they had to rewrap it though because the wrap they had on it before was like a world championship themed wrap. It has kind of like the same color palette on it now still, but it's wrapped a, I think. I mean, I guess I didn't look close enough at it. But I don't think it said like world championships on it anymore on the site. But the dudes that drove it, um, those guys are wearing ASICs employees. I think, I don't know how, I don't know exactly what you would call it, but um, they work for another company that has people that you can basically rent for a month, you know, or two months. And they, they basically lived in, they didn't live in the van. That's kind of like what I thought. I, I was kind of disappointed when I heard that no one's living in the van. Cause I was like, well, maybe I can live in the van for a little bit. I would want to do that. But they said, no, no one sleeps in the van, but they would drive it. They would like park it at a hotel. They would sleep in the hotel and then they would drive it to the next place and then run events from it to the next place. So, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Martha says, uh, the A6 van took up a lot of space on Newbury considering how many people were on that block that morning for shakeouts. Yeah, it, 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 it did take up a lot of space, though. But, I mean, like, uh, that, that's, I mean, I, I really feel like at a certain point, they just need to close down Newbury Street, I think. That would just be a lot more fun. Um, I know that that would be tough and hard on the neighborhood, I guess. But I just feel like, Imagine if that was just like a street fair for like three days. I mean, that'd be great. Mm, yeah, Calvin says that the A6 van was living uh, the gig economy life. <laughs> Daniel Burton wants to know who is your next live guest. I just booked him today. Uh, we're going to have Matt Choi on next week. So we're going to round out API Awareness Heritage Month, Awareness Month with uh, Matt Choi for next Thursday. So you were talking with Jakey. You know, he brought up Matt. So I was like, all right, that's going to be definitely the next one person we got to have on. I've interviewed him a long time ago. Seems like forever we go now. Um, but the audio got all messed up. I couldn't use any of it. I was so annoyed. Um, but yeah, that was why I don't, I think I lived here. I'm not even sure if I lived here or not. I'll have to go back and look when I last interviewed him, but it was a long time ago. And he is the first person that I, that I asked, like, how disappointed is your parent or your parents? I was like, how disappointed is your mom? I was like, does your mom understand what you do and how disappointed is she? He's the first person that I asked that question to. That's how long ago it was. So, uh, Steve says, am I going to go shirtless too? <laughs> Should I start it that way? I think that'd be funny. Uh, uh, funny. 
Uh, Calvin says, will he be running while he's on? I don't know. It could be. It could be. Um, uh, that's what, yeah, Lee Chat says, uh, Bergen boys. That's right. I mean, I, I can't really claim Bergen County because I didn't, I, I never, I lived in Bergen, I lived in Tenafly for a summer, but my parents moved there after I graduated from high school. So I can't really claim it, but you know, when I go back to New Jersey now, that's where I go. Um, yeah. Mm, yeah, Matai says it's going to be, ooh, it's going to be high energy. Yeah, he's doing that uh, Hell on the Hill right now. Have you been watching his Instagram live or his Instagram stories? That event where you like um, just run up and down a hill a whole bunch of times, you know? Yeah, I'm like, I don't know about that one. Doesn't seem like my kind of event. <laughs> Although it has definitely has like uh, trail race vibes to it. Like there's chips, sodas, stuff like that. Saunas and stuff around. So it's like a Ragnar and a um, and a trail race. Not that Ragnars aren't trail races, but like an ultra all into one. Mm hmm. Yeah, Jairus says shirtless live stream next week. Okay. Josiah says for, for shirtless interview, that'll be first. I, I, you know, the last time I interviewed him, he had a shirt on. So, yeah. So he'll probably have a shirt on. All right, let's do another running shoe question. Nicholas Greenfield says, Can you help me decide on an everyday trail shoe that leans more towards Kush? I'm also a 2E. Rocking A6 is 25 now, but honestly, I don't think they're that cushion and they give me blisters. Yeah, if, if you don't think that the Nimbus 25 is that cushion, I'm not really sure how, how to help you with that. Though, probably the best shoe that I can give you as an option would be the more Trail version 3. Um, that's a pretty high cushion one. Why, why is this focus not working? Focus. A lot of times when there's text, it'll pick, it, pick up the text. But it's a more Trail version 3. Um, plenty of stack on it. The flash foam max is nice and soft, soft and bouncy. So I like that one. So I would go with that. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I still have the Tribuco Max, but I haven't tried that one yet. Tribuco Max 2. Version 1, I'm not sure about, but um, version 2, I'm pretty excited for. Oh, maybe I'll run in that one this weekend. Since I will be running some trails. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. I was, mm. yeah, I think this is a good time to do that. So maybe I'll do that. So I'll run that over the weekend, but I, I'm going to say for now, go with the more trail version three. Um, let me ask you this, Nicholas. I'm purple. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. What do you normally run in? Like you run in the Nimbus 25 now. What have you, name a shoe that you've loved in the past. So that can maybe give me some, some insight. Oh, okay. Nick, Nicholas says, not everyday trail shoes, an everyday trainer. Okay. Um, yeah, still though, uh, Nimbus 25 is like pretty soft. It's almost, it's on the mushy side to me, if you ask me. Um, but when I'm, when I want the Nimbus, I want something mushy. So let me know, let me, let me know what you, I mean, more, tra more, the regular, more version four. That's that's what I would look at, look at if the Nimbus twenty five isn't working for you. But like, what what else have you been running in that like um, has been working for you? That could give me some ideas. Mm, Paul Ross says, "Hi, nerd. What's up? What's up, my fellow nerd? Welcome. You're in the right place." Um. Matt Schiff says, I missed it. Did I ever announce a May marathon? No, I don't have any marathon scheduled until Chicago. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't even know if I'm going to race at all in May or June. I will be racing in July. I'm going to do a 50K. I haven't signed up for it yet, but I just got to sign up for it. No, wait, I am. Yeah, I'm racing uh, in July. I'll be doing the Peachtree Road Race in Atlanta, 10K. Um, but May and June, I don't think I'm I'm racing. I might, I mean, maybe if I can find, if I find like a trail half marathon somewhere, I might hop in. 
for fun. I think uh, Mines of Spain. There's a park in Dubuque, Iowa, which is amazing because like there's parts of that trail that just do not look like Iowa at all. And that's what I love about it right there. It just like you got instantly transported to like the Southwest. Mm, kind of a high desert is what kind of what it looks like. Um, at parts, that's a stretch, but it doesn't look like cornfields. Um, they do like half marathons and marathons, like all throughout the year, weird times. I think there might be one in June. Maybe I'll do that. Kevin wants to know, well, doing a shirtless live stream break YouTube's terms of service. I mean, just two dudes. No, I don't think so, but that'd be kind of weird. It'd be, it'd be like, <laughs> it'd be so unnecessary. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Mm. Martha says every time the Tribuco Max comes up, I remember our ugliest shoe contest. Uh, yeah. Should we play ugliest shoe next week? Do you want like what? So I feel like, uh, last week's game was fun. What, what do you guys want to play next? Do you want to do another round of name that shoe or do you want to do which shoes uglier? Should we do which shoes uglier? We'll pick them from the wall up here. Oh, um, there aren't that many ugly shoes on this wall. I feel like I'd have to really, I I'd have to resort to internet photos for that one. Um, but we haven't played that game in like two years. I feel like, so there's, there's new ones. There's new ones that we can pick. I don't, I don't want to be mean, but some shoes are not as pretty as others. So maybe we could play that game. I mean, maybe I'll call it uglier shoe. So I'm not saying either, any of them is ugly, but one is going to be uglier than the other, you know? So, yeah. Uh, Heather Briggs wants to know, have you considered Dancing with the Dirt at Devil's Lake in Wisconsin? Or have you possibly done it? I didn't know that there was a race out there. I just, I not just, I ran Devil's Lake a couple of years ago. My wife grew up going to vacations there. I mean, is there a more Midwestern thing? Oh, hey, where'd you guys go? Where'd you take the family? I remember you said you were going to go camping. Oh, we had a wonderful weekend. I took them up to a place called Devil's Lake. That sounds, I mean, I didn't say it with a Midwestern accent. Oh, yeah. Took the kids, took the kids up to Devil's Lake. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think... I, there, I, I've never gotten bitten by more bugs that were more persistent than when I ran up at Devil's Lake in the summer one year. And I get no cell reception when I'm up there too. But uh, I'll have to look at that. I'll have to look for that. That sounds like... I, I, I like that area. I really enjoyed running there. I got way lost when I was up there though. And it's hilly. Because there's like bluffs or cliffs or something like that. It's it was, it was, that, that could be a tough one. That could be fun. All right, guys, we're at 43 minutes right now. And I think that's a good place to end it for today. Um, Cause I'm having fun. I could keep going, but I feel like, you know what, in my endeavor to keep the show moving along, keeping it punchy, we're going to shorten it. I feel like I'm okay. I'm starting to do a good job of keeping it shorter. I'm not doing a good job of making it better in the shorter amount of time, but you know, baby steps. So We'll work on that for next week. I'm going to work on my segments. Maybe I'll pick up a new sound for transitions. You know, I need an end of segment. I think I'm just going to record myself saying end of segment and have that as a button. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. I got to figure, I'm going to listen to some radio, see what they do on the radio when they like switch from segment to segment. So we got to figure it out. All right. So that's going to be it for today. Monday we'll do, I'll have the review for, whew, Hopefully, I'll have the review for the Magic Speed 3. I've been doing some running in that shoe. And um, we'll be able to talk about it a little bit more uh, in the review then. And then we'll do a live stream. Same time as today. I have a box. I got another box from Rabbit. I don't know what they're sending this time. But we'll open. maybe we'll open that one. Or if we get a different package, just to mix it up, maybe we'll do that. But we'll, but we'll have a package for sure. So we'll do all that Monday. Hopefully, I'll see you then. In the meantime, have a really great time on your runs this weekend. And as always, be safe out to everybody. Thanks.